Hello everyone, uh, it's good to have you back. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We can see the numbers are growing. And um, thank you for the comments. Thank you for also reminding us when we are late uh, to, to upload the next um, session. Today we have the amazing black uh, <laughs> of Mshaburenene. And you can see, I always love her smile. I always love her voice. We hear her on radio. Uh, from 9 to 12, mm -hmm. meet week, mm -hmm. uh, Monday to Friday, mm -hmm. 9 to 12 from Umshawa and Nene. They have a huge following there, and she's hosted a lot of other people that are of importance in our province and beyond. I just want to welcome Inza Deloane Asim Tanzane. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, sis. Welcome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, I must say, you never ask, but, but I'm here. <laughs> this is somebody who, who holds the show every 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 Monday to Friday, but you never ask for this platform. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to, I really want to celebrate this lady. We, we love hearing you speak. We love uh, listening to you and also shooting questions. Mm. And today I'm going to be shooting questions <laughs> and hopefully you can defend yourself. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. I want to ask, what are you grateful for? Nokubonga. Ubonga Ndoni. What are you grateful for? Uh, obviously, uh, Lika, that my mother gave it to me mm. because she was grateful. Mm. Um, that she 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 gave birth to me. Mm. She had been struggling with two other children, my siblings, and with this one, with this pregnancy, that would be me. She did not think that she would make it, but she did. So she said, "Unokumongwa otiko, give me some Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, obviously, I I embrace it. I absolutely love it. Uh, because Nam Dingumtu, uh, who makes sure in Dokuba Dipila in that gratefulness. So we listen to you every Monday to Friday mm -hmm. um, between 9 and 12. Mm -hmm. People are fresh that day, mm -hmm. that time, you know, of the day. People are at work. Um, I just want, maybe before we start um, even talking about that, are you a morning person? Are you an evening person? What kind of a person are you? I I am a person, G. <laughs> I, I promise you. I am a person, G. Uh, if I have something to do that I need to do in the morning, I will wake up. Yeah. And if it has to be done in the evening, I will yeah. do it. Um, I am a disciplined person. Yeah. Mm. I'm not in the morning. I struggle. Really? I struggle. I struggle. No, I, struggle. I don't. I don't. I, I make a decision that five o'clock in the morning, I have to be up because there are things that need to be done mm. and I am up. At two o'clock in the morning, we need to be traveling somewhere. I will be there. Uh, amongst my friends, I'm known as the one who's very punctual. Mm. And it really just comes from discipline. Mm. Mm. Okay. Take us up at Kalekwan. Uh, what do you remember about your upbringing, um, about your, you know, your early years? Um, just take us back there. What, what, what is at the back of your mind when you're talking about a young uh, black? Um, it's back at Mdanzane, being raised by my mom, Sibatatu. I am the last of three. Um, she's, uh, she's a single mom who was working hard, but... Ayonanda that stands out for me, Kukule mm. uh, Sikule from the traditional mainline church, which was Ewisile. But then as my mother, Naya, was growing um, as Umdu, as a woman, uh, as a spiritual being, wa evolver from mainline to uh, Pentecostal. So Nati, we were growing with her, we were evolving mm. with her. Uh, from Pentecostal to Charismatic movement, mm. Nati we were. So Dikula in that environment where um, la, la foundation, even even Nase, Nase Kaya with the conversations, we were, my mother allowed us to, to voice our opinions. Um, she, she, she allowed me 
uh, to change my mind. Mm. I remember one of the things she said to me was that you are allowed to change your mind. A way you can make uh, your mind up about something, but when you discover in Dokuba Mshambi, it's changing or it's evolving. You can change your mind. Mm. So I grew up from that environment where Kutwe, you can change your mind, voice your opinions. We can have this conversation in the safety of this uh, dinner table mm. uh, so that you are able to go out there and have the same conversation already in the safety of, of your home with the people who love you. Mm. I am fearfully and wonderfully made um, what you are, greater is he who is within me than he who is in the world. Mm. What you are, can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm. Uh, what you are, Ndokuba, uh, Ndokuba Indonina, that I want to do, if I set my mind to it, it shall be done. Mm. So by the time I met you guys, uh, she's not my cup of tea, oh, I don't like, I don't like your flow, I flow, I don't like your energy. Mm. I already has those, I already had those messages yes. that were instilled as my foundation. So I'll be like, oh, okay, well, that's that's you. Can I continue? You're allowed to, do? to yes. your own opinion. Yes. 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 So, so those those are the memories as Fika. You're just about just you speak up for yourself. You know, stand up for yourself, stand up for others. Uh, Form as like opinions, read, and just make up your mind as to but how do you want to present yourself in the world? Okay, that's that that is confidence. Mm -hmm. You just you just given us a formula to to build, uh, you know, this intrinsic sense mm -hmm. of, of who you are, mm -hmm. and 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 not be easily swayed, mm -hmm. and also being um, attentive to your own belief mm -hmm. and your own understanding. Mm -hmm. um, is Kolosako Lower primary school and high school? Um, I, I went to Nkubela Lower Primary School, which mm. was not far from where we stayed at home. Mm. I went to a Dixon Gianni Higher Primary School. Mm. I wanted to go to Alphandale because uh, see, see, La Era was basically like first generation of uh, where we could go see a quiz as called it was yes. the model C. Yes, yes. So I wanted, my mother was like, uh, my mother worked at a cash and carry. Mm. So she was like, I deny you, Mali. I don't have the money. So I wanted to go to Alphandale, but I didn't. I ended up again to see a Shokoma, mm. uh, Shokoma High School. Mm. Uh, yeah, I went, that's, that's like with my lower foundations and of course uh, high school. Um, I was 16 when I was doing my grade 12 then. Yeah. Still did not. <laughs> I mean, so I had no idea what I wanted. Yes. Uh, I had no idea who I was or what I wanted for the rest of my life. And you know, okay, I was a stage, people like, so I I had no idea. I went to study IT. I did fairly well, but I didn't like it. Mm. So I came back, I told my mom, I, I, I'm not going back for the second year. Mm. She was like, no, what? It's fine. Uh, if you don't, if you don't want to, don't do it. Um, and then after that, go back with course. Then it was Border Technicon. It's, WSU now. Yes. Um, course so to versatile broadcasting. So my mom was like, I'm one year course. So my mom was like, go check it out. That's that's feels like something that you could do. So I went to study broadcasting for a year, uh, at Voda Technicon at the time, and I enjoyed it. I've never looked back. Go back to me because this is an interesting mom mm -hmm. who is basically giving you a career yes. sort of direction, mm -hmm. suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of a person is your mom? Um, very strong-willed. Did not have the opportunities that uh, we had when we were growing up. So she was adamant that she would support her children um, no matter what. And I, I'm, the one, I'm, the, well, I'm the last of three, so I'm the one or what I able to do something that was out of the ordinary because my, my brother is a lawyer, my sister is a teacher. So my mom was like, yeah, no, it's fine. So my mom was very supportive, still is my number one fan, very supportive. Um, what is it that you want to do? You don't know. This is what I think. What do you think? Do you mm. want to do it? If you don't want to do it, then that's fine. So I've always had that uh, support at home. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> so Jeez. so so now so now you 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 are in this broadcasting course. Mm -hmm. 
Ufilanja and you see yourself as I am happy. I am yeah. happy. I am happy. Yeah. Yeah. But also it all comes back to me now because I remember a time where I would sit in front of the mirror and have my script and practice reading news with my mom cheering me on. Mm. It comes back you know, yeah. sitting in front of the mirror with my mom standing behind me. It comes back to me not wanting to go out and how fascinated I was with what they were doing. Mm. So it, it basically just, it all came back to me. It all came back to me as I was sitting there, the mamele theory radio, and given Iqaisha to just practice what we were being taught a lesson. Okay, because the interest in your life is that here is one person who has studied something mm -hmm. that they enjoy, mm -hmm. but then they are also gifted in this mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. but are also in the field. Mm -hmm. That's an, an, an um, a synergy that mm -hmm. is is really rare. Mm -hmm. um, how do you? How do you regard that? No kubonga, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, I quickly understood um, when doing the course that I did have a natural flair, a natural mm. talent for it. Mm. But also, one of my first mentors, uh, Kevin Porter, who was our lecturer, he was also at the time a DJ at the, it was CKIFM then. Mm. Uh, he had said that you can be talented, but there are also many people who are talented. Mm. You need discipline. Uh, you need to be disciplined. And we've seen a lot of our peers who are extremely talented, mm. but just not showing up when it comes to being disciplined. Yeah. So I quickly had to learn that, uh, to show up on time with a great attitude, not only do what I'm required to do, but go far and beyond what I'm called to do, and study the industry. What are people doing? What's new? How can I improve um, myself as a person and as a radio host? So that has been, for me, that has been the trend since day one. And I have kept it there. I'm always on the lookout on what's happening. I want to study my industry. I go to workshops, I go to conferences just so that I can keep abreast as to what is happening in my industry. Sino Black, my great today, and you can hear she's a driven woman that is directed uh, and disciplined towards her craft. I want to I wanna reflect a bit about her, her process because as somebody who's watching from the outside, mm -hmm. I have you know a question that I, I really want to ask this question. Uh -huh. But uh, Oplag also started out a we, 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 we community radio station yeah. now, but then it was a student radio station. Mm -hmm. It's now uh, Bay FM, but she's going to tell us about that future, that, that history. And then she also went to CKI FM, yes. that is now True FM. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but then now, I want, us, I want her to tell us about that, that sort of progression. How straight was it? I remember I went you at S M Club and then yes, you and then went to left, and then yes, I, you came in. I want you to touch <laughs> was, that. But yeah. talk to us about um how you started in the professional sense game. Mm -hmm. Um so when I finished the course we had to do uh, a year of practicals. Mm -hmm. Border Technicon at the time, WSU now had a campus radio which was called BTFM, mm. that they used as our training ground for mm. us as journalist student. So I was there for a year. Uh, I did a show, um, an afternoon show. I was a co-host. Um, and then on my second year there, I didn't know what I wanted to do now. On my second year there, um, my, my lecturer, who was also a mentor and a radio host at CKI, had whispered to a couple of us that, they were looking for people. They were looking for fresh talent. CKI at the time. Mm. Did my demo, 10-minute uh, demo, uh, small profile brief about what I do, took it to CKI. I was lucky enough that when I went there, the acting programs manager at the time was also at the front desk. Mm. So when I came in to speak to the receptionist about me handing over my stuff, she was there. She was like, yeah, no, sure. I'll take it. Took it. Um... The time, literally, I was walking out the gate at CKI, she called me. <laughs> Promise you. Listen, I just listened to your demo. 
I love it. Come back, let's talk. Mm. That was in 2005. Uh, and she was like, you know what? I love what I'm hearing. There's so much uh, space to grow, but but you've got it. I mm. uh, signed my contract with CKI. I did a weekend show, joints and gems, Saturdays between 3 and 5, and Sunday mornings between 6 and 9, uh, international gospel. That's how I started. Following year, there was a change in management because there were the acting programs manager was just acting. There was a change in man management, new managers coming in. They were like, we love what we hear. Do 9 to 12. So, yeah, I did that. <laughs> I did that. Um, it was amazing. I quit school. I was, I was, yeah, I quit school. <laughs> you were, you were. Okay. <laughs> I was doing, I was doing my first year in public relations. Mm. It was the Eastern Cape uh, Technicon then. Yes. Um, I quit because I had to be on radio between 9 and 12. Did that. Um, 2007, I was approached by Umshaobo to come join them for their 9 to 12 slot. Mm. And I moved uh, to Umshaobo, which, which was big for me. Um, uh, it didn't work out. Mm. 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, they were like, uh, 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 you, yes. you're not the sound that we are wanting. You're not, you're not the sound that we are wanting. It was fine. I went back to school. Uh, it was NMMU yes. then, uh, NMU now. <laughs> it's a tongue twisting. <laughs> I know. I went to school, went back to school full time. I uh, completed my my PR, yep. did my diploma, did my BTEC, and then left. Oh, and then Mshaw asked me to come back again yes. to say, we just want to check out, have you grown or have we evolved? Yes. What's the situation? Mm. They had evolved. I had grown, so we were a good match again. Yes. And then I, I rejoined the station. And then I left, went back to, went to Joburg. Oh, my story's long. Uh, went to Joburg, came back, CKI, it was True FM now. They were like, come join us. We hear, we hear you back in the in the province. Come join us. I was like, yeah, great. And then I was with CKI up until I joined Mklobo again. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> now that you've said all of that, um, because for me it makes sense. Um, it makes sense that uh, sometimes what we think would be a straight line, mm. it, it basically meanders mm. at a particular time. Mm. There are details mm. in life and all of that. Mm. I want you to make, you know, what do you read into that? Mm. Um, not all... Sometimes not all big doors are great opportunities. Mm. Um, had I not had a good understanding of who I was, the time that Umshabu and NFM let me go, mm. it would have destroyed me and what I thought of myself. Mm. Because I thought that that was a rejection. And, um, but then I also remembered who I was. Mm. Um, Yes. You know, um, and, and it's not the end. I can do anything. Those messages, they quickly came back. Mm. Of course, there was a time where I was almost depressed, but those messages came back that mm. you need to remember who you are. Uh, you need to remember who you are. And what was happening with Umshobo at the time is I did not really understand their audience. Because I was young, mm. you know, um, nothing that I would say, it would impact them. Because as the audience, they saw me as umdana, who has no life experience, who doesn't know. It, it really sounded like Bendi mm. you know, because there's a difference between a lived experience and when you are speaking it, when you are saying it, because the producers, this is the direction that they yes. do, do understand. Yeah. So... So there was, there was that connection that was missing between me and the audience mm. because I was young. Um, but also, they were not ready for, for a young person at the time mm. who had all these ideas and opinions, 
you know, mm. because the local sisters are dala. If you say these things in Klambi, you are being disrespectful. Yes. So, so we went a good fit at the time. Yeah. Um, it, I had to go uh, independent, you know, yes. and, and have lived experiences. Mm. Now, but in the meantime, they had to see in Dokuba, the world is moving into this direction. Yes. Nati, we need to move you know, along with with what is happening. Mm. Hence, Sapina Sabuya, you know, a couple of years later to say, you know what, I've grown, I've grown, I've evolved, I've evolved, let's try and see that again. Okay. Because it, 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 it's, it's helpful to think like this. Mm. It's helpful also, and I know for you, it's, it's, it's a lived experience. Mm. It came with a, uh, some costs, yes. you know, into mm. emotional costs mm. and all mm. of those things. Mm. Uh, but the lessons that come out of now is mm. not a black mm. loss. Mm. It's, mm. It's, 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 it's what you now can... And, and you know what? Looking back, I wouldn't change a thing. Mm. I had the most hardest time ever. Mm. Uh, I did something that I've always wanted to do. I moved to Joburg. Mm. I've always wanted to do that. But at the same time, I was very fearful. Because when under it, oh, I'm, I'm just a girl from the Eastern Cape. Mm. I moved to Joburg, literally with nothing. And that was hard. But that experience brought so much growth into the person that I am today. Mm. And I look back at the whole thing. I'm like, I'm so grateful that all of this happened. Because it shows me in Dogoba, and most importantly, what I'm capable of of doing mm. and of being in a kumbi when I'm put in a situation where I feel Ndoba, I am pressed. So I look at that and I'm like, thank you God for this because mm. it, it has just, it has grown me so much. There's a cousin of mine who taught me that um, if you, if you, you, you write a test in life, mm. uh, one of those life lessons, mm. and then you don't pass it now, mm -hmm. and then you run away from doing it uh, again, mm -hmm. um, and then you still have to pass that test, mm -hmm. even if you've moved geographically and pass it, mm -hmm. because for, for your next level, yes. you need to learn to, mm -hmm. do you regard uh, that as uh, something that you you might have also gone through once you were in Joburg? I'm asking this question because for me, there are things that I know that they, they, they've been hard. I also moved to Joburg, by mm. the way. Mm. And I stayed three years mm. in Joburg. Mm. Uh, all in the struggle of trying to see what mm. Oloam is made, mm. um, is made for. Mm. Um, and then I realized that some of the things that I, I could have learned here, mm. of course, it's not that easy. Um, but there's, there's a similar test. Mm. I needed to, to pay attention to yes. authority, to respect... Yes family, yes. you know, yes. to listen twice as much as I speak. Yes. And all of those yeah. things. So just, like They just form part of my mm. current day mm. basket mm. of how to be a better human being. Mm. Um, do you want to reflect anything on, on, your, on those lessons in life? Your, 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 I think your, um, you know, Ella Kresha, Ella Kresha, La Sekhautini, Gyo, Gaizi, I... I want, I see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living when I, when I go back to that. Mm. But also, leaving and coming back is never the same as never having left at all. Yeah, oh. It's, okay. it's never that's, the same. That's big. Yo. And I'm glad that, I'm glad that I left. Mm. Um, I'm glad that I get to, I got to go to a job back and fend for myself mm. and think in Dokuba, like a cook, when cook cushion pie and think in Dokuba, if I don't have Mklambi Isweke Lengoko, Zafone no sister wam, you know, I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, I connected with so many people. Mm. I did things that I've always wanted to do, but in Soyika. Mm. I was afraid. I've always wanted to to do voice over work. Mm. I did. That's how I made my money. If mm. I did, I did voice over work. And the moment in the city, about you know what? I'm I'm more good when it comes to each course. I don't know how many studios literally would call me up. I worked with amazing people that today in my I'm like, 
I worked with you. Mm. Like I was in the studio booth with you. Yeah. Sis Obra. <laughs> I'm I'm glad that I did that because it said to me in Dokubam, there are many layers to who we are. And if we are not in these situations as in Jena, you you might never get to see in Dokuba, what else are you made of? Mm. Because Mlambu Yoyika. Nazoge imfundi sozobo me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the name of your current mm. show with Umsha mm. and um, um, How do you prepare for that show? Yo, there's a lot <laughs> of work that's being done there, but I must say, and mm. I work with an amazing producer, Ngokoko Um What she understands about Mna. And Koye, it was important for her to do that, was to get to know me personally. As Oyaz in Dokuba, what moves me, what drives me, mm. so that as a show, as a corporate incorporator, a show into, yeah. into that. So that Nandonina, it, it sounds like me, mm. you know, it's not easy, it's flowy, it's not hard, it's, it's easy, it's flowing, you know. Uh, I appreciate her for that. She's mm. hardworking. Uh, and I have amazing, amazing support from a manager's Zam. Literally, they will call to say, are you okay? Is everything okay? What do you need? Um, the guy from from music, um, you know, they listen. They know, okay, she likes this. Uh, let's let, let's make her happy. Mm. So I work with people. How can they make me happy? Mm. Because Oh, that's nice. Yes. Who are the people that will no, make no, me I, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I promise you. But I have Ray and Candice now. So, guys, yes, thank you so please. much. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm really blessed. I, I cannot even. So, so I've got that uh, team. We're going to produce a show, um, a right, a show, a relevant. But my prayer every day, um, help me to be relevant. Uh, help me to make an impact. A mini bomb. A way send a mandate to to educate, to entertain, and 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 to inform. Uh, but can we do more than that? Can I make an impact? Can I inspire someone? Can I give knowledge to umtu ebenendo angayazi? You know this morning. And can I make someone smile? Can you help me with those? So God always comes through. Okay, to the end of my no, it's fine. I got you. I'm always like the seven Z as a vessel, you know, uh, and I understand in that one make it and I don't take it for granted. I understand the responsibility um, that I have with Tishi Esukulu for closer speaking and for closer understanding. Help me to treasure that and never to take it for granted. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. It's like um, it's it's a, a very huge responsibility to have mm. that conversation for those hours mm. live mm. on air mm. and have uh, different guests mm. every morning. Mm. It's a different guest mm. guest that you are hosting, and um, and we still need to have a sense that this is the same radio station. Mm. 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 That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, as we like, wow, that's I didn't. That's crazy. That's what you are doing. It's 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 I didn't um, think about that. Uh, so so now the centrality of who you are, mm. the centrality of how honest you are mm. with regards to the work that is happening there and the team that you are telling us. We didn't know that they also have to go to this extent mm. uh, in order to be able to keep that that earnestness mm. of, of, of the show. Mm. Because that is what we hear uh, mm. when we're listening. Mm. Uh, your voice, your, your register as you mm. speak and, and driving this conversation. Mm. Um, oh, wow. So, yeah, I that is... I, I, didn't, I didn't think about that. Um, mm. as we tell, I'm like, oh, my word. I seriously did not think about that. Um, wow. So okay. so so we we truly appreciate that. And um, I, I don't know, how, how, how is the, the, the listenership... Um, um, we're growing. Oh my yeah. goodness, uh, we're growing. When we when we first when we were can first I can I ask how how do, how do, how is that feedback given to you? Is it like ah oh, go and get the 
How is there a feedback mechanism? Uh, at the you, <laughs> sorry to put a spotlight <laughs> on you, but there you is. are inevitably under the spotlight. Anyway. There is uh, as much as we send a mandate to inform, to entertain, and to educate. Um, we we also a business entity, mm. and there are things that one must deliver. Yes. Um, or to make the business sustainable. Yes. Um, and it's it's listeners. You yes. know, we have to bring in um amanani. People yes. have to listen. Uh, but also what I like about it, there are all these measures is make where you to help you with that. Mm. So are you like are your responsibility, yam yeah. they mm. make sure you know marketing, uh promotions, they make sure you know, they, they do ipatiabo. Uh, technical, they make sure Ndoba they do ipatiabo. Programming, they make sure in Dokba they do the ipatiabo. If unditiba, can I can we have a conversation with Olwam? Nezum Zakel, Kuzo Buz Ndoba, Kobao Tin, Koban Olwam, and then Dizao Choba, why I think that, why in phone, you know, and how I think that is a contributor to our listeners, you know, and then they'll make it happen, you know. Omye Umdu and Mars and Domazi. Like Ngumdu and Mbonayo, Pa and Mtandayo, I love what they do. I love how they're impacting. And mm. I'm like, I also want to impact. Can we have them? Mm. Um, so, so I've got that. Mm. There are things that I need to deliver, but help is there. Uh, rev, we need to make money. Mm. Uh, we need to make money. Yeah. So revenue as well. Um, Ngobani, Aba advertiser, Ayo. Um, how much are they bringing into the station? Nandens and Oni to present myself out there, so that those people are coming back to invest into the show, mm. you know. So, so yeah, so yeah, it's good. And, I mean, and, and you must then have a big heart, you know, to be able to, to, to go into society and pick, oh, this, this looks so good. Mm. You can't be. Um, a narrow-minded person or a jealous person, mm. you need to open up that mm. platform. Mm. Um, that wouldn't, yeah. Yes. If bending if don't jalo, that would not work. Mm. But also, um, as much as these people, mm. um, the audience, mm. um, the audience, um, the audience, how can it benefit yes. from that? Because I need Omnia Umdo to tell Omnia Umdo to tell Omnia okay. Umdu. That way, you know, it brings in Abandu Abanenzi. And I need Nenyi advertiser to say, Ndoba, wow, she did our live read very mm. well. I can't do that in the preparation. Mm. So that is what I know. Nenyi colleague, I can do my man advertiser. Paya. Mm. This is how she does it. Just, do you understand? So it's really just a collective of Abandu Abanenzi, Nezindu Ezenenzi, to make sure in Ndoba this thing happens. Okay. Now, what's going to happen in your life for the next five, ten years? Mm -hmm. You probably will still be doing most of the show. Mm -hmm. and But it, now this is a, a, a short <laughs> to medium term sort of uh, reflection from your side. And so, can I say? And so, 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 and like to, to yes. over you I wonder what else. Yes. yes. Yeah. But also the so you can dinjalo like I sense it in, in everything that I do. Lifikilitresha for me to evolve. Mm. Yes. Even though the Sakangela in the Kuba So much how how do you want me to, to impart Gingo? How do you want me to impact Gingo? Mm. Do you want me to do that in the same space? Do you want me to, you know, do it squishing your space? But you don't get It must, it must be relevant. It must be inspirational. It must impact and it must impart. I must impart something. Mm. So I don't know what's coming. Yes. I went back to school after I did my my BTEC with PR. I went back. I went my my postgraduate diploma with Rhodes with media management. Mm. Uh, because just just moya mm. I'm looking at what do I want to master in. I'm not yet sure. Um, yeah. So zakangela basically. Difuna doni. Difuna when that thing comes. Ndibe nam. This lung selele. You know. 
um, educationally, there's long sellella, so that that opportunity, it meets me, this and that right. I go nine no phone now, Ossie. Do you know, okay. sorry, do you know what I do? What they are checking, is? I know, this season in my life, the tanda and told me, and then the am do food alone. Yes. Yeah. I've done the courses like I've done events through the like the course, yes. like I've done yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, like I've done stuff. Because they can get into where am I? What do I like? And then I go study that. Uba easy, I'm gonna shop. Yes, go long until a chance chance favors a prepared mind. Mm -hmm. It, 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 it's usually somebody who prepares in advance mm. that would be favored by a chance. Mm. How mm. you mm. No, yeah, she's no. prepared, yeah. you know, mm. and, and no laka like favors somebody who is already uh, prepared in mm. advance. Uh, so this is what I'm seeing also mm. through through your life. And you're simplifying so many things, and I know you're just stating them and just... Uh, simplistically, mm -hmm. but the discipline of sitting down mm -hmm. and, and actually reading words so that you can remember yes. at a later stage and conjure mm -hmm. it during exam time mm -hmm. and then pass this and submit assignments, <laughs> late night studies, burning the midnight yeah. oil and all of those <laughs> things. And, um, and but no, no, but it's the discipline no, of sitting. Yes. Wasn't easy. Yes. But these are things that needed to be I done. guess you choose the kind of difficulty you want to have in life. I right? think so, okay. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. No, see, I'm like, I think, um, these are some of the things that we are learning that you don't just go behind, uh, you know, uh, or behind a, a, a microphone mm. and start speaking. Mm. There's life that needs to be prepared for. Mm. Life has to prepare you for this. Mm. And then there's educational experience mm. that you need to undergo. Mm. There's some lessons that you need to build and uh, learn. Mm. And, and, and also there's some people, there's a group of people mm. that have to sort of support mm. you to deliver mm. at your best. Mm. Hmm. Hey, well. Who are your uh, role models? Who do you look up to? Uh, definitely my mother. Uh, I have an incredible mother who... Yo, I have an incredible mother. And I thank God for her 17, 71 years of life. Um, she has supported me. My mother is my number one fan. She listens to me. Uh, and criticize which I take well. She's taught me to take it well. Um, who has taught me is into as ninzi ngobomi. Bamamela bantu ba batini na kabekaeka. But also you you are able to to decipher into kuba okukaeka kuza kuaka na kanya okukaeka kuza kuto balisana. Um, have that spirit of discernment. You can change your mind. Do you want to get married? Do you not want to get married? You can change your mind. It's okay. Mm. This is your life. You only get to live it once. Do it fully. Do it amazingly. Are you having experiences? What are you spending your money on? Spend your money on experiences. Because that's that's just that's just a lifetime beautiful thing that you could ever do. So I've got that. Mm. Um, I call her so I'm like, you are, I'm having a hard time going down. Please stand with me in prayer when I need counseling. So my mother is just J. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. But then now um, you are constantly on radio and people want to know um, what does it take for them? You've told us about your mm -hmm. your life mm -hmm. and how you got there. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you didn't tell us about how you actually first walked into a radio station. Tell us right uh, here. I, uh, <laughs> it was CBFM then. Yes. Um, it's Bay FM now. It was a campus radio station. Yes. I say, what was UPE in Goko? I'm the as a UPE. Yeah. I know. What's what I'm like, yo, yeah, I know. Like, so institutions in that is that. That change of a car, but then you know. Uh, so, um... I had done I had done campus radio, right? And then I had come to Ebay for holiday. My sister had moved here before us. And I wasn't doing anything. I'm like, ah, oh, what's happening here? What's happening in this city? And Jasna Lindau. So I went into because my love for radio, because I'd done campus. Um, and I went to a, a, a CBFM, went in there, 
like a friend and i was like hi guys how are you i'm you in the city what are you guys doing here and they're like oh hello who are you here is a script come to the studio read something and i read the um one o'clock bulletin and they were like join us yeah yeah <laughs> i was like uh i've never read news but, but it's okay I, yes. I mean i'm i'm i can learn uh, so that's how I got to join CBFM. This was before I sent my audition to SCKI then. <laughs> I'm going to pick something to read. Ah, oh, no, don't do that. No. <laughs> okay, no, do okay. That. <laughs> so again, we have a black mic. So you can see how lovely a person she is. And, and this is just natural and organic. That's why people fall in love with her voice. Uh, and fall in love with the person that she is and the character, the beauty, the big heartedness mm. that she has. Thank you. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, you host her so well uh -huh. um, uh, during your show. And it's a conversation. I was just reading something that uh, there's about 9 million closer speakers, closer uh, first language speakers, and then there's about uh, 19 million uh, closer speakers, even if they don't speak Kosa mm. as an original language. Mm. But they, um, they, they, I, I don't know where I was reading that from, but I work in a university, so mm. <laughs> I come across a lot of stuff to mm. be reading. Mm. And um, the community, mm. uh, we are about to close, but the community are much closer, uh, and uh, the conversation you are having. Do you know how far and wide, what has shocked you in the parameters of, of the language? Um... Yo, um, Singabantu aba intelligent kakul. Mm. This is what I've, I, I have discovered. Singabantu aba intelligent kakul. It's not wonder. Yes. <laughs> and they emveil. And they emveil. Godwa siyo yika to evolve. With the times. Um, with the times. Mm. Siyo yika. And amakashamani nzi inga ati, agosti waba we are evolving. Inga ati, iba nga ati kutwa Shiani zidozenu. And yet akuchibu. But kutiwa, be aware that this is where we are moving. Come with us. I'd love to experience us as abantu abango yikiyo. To know or to peek into what the world is doing. Siyambe nabu nata. Singa kanga siwe kandu siya chinja. Ekube ntukba singo banina. That's what I've picked up from, from the people. So I've, hope. I've read what you are saying right now also. Um, yeah. I like the oh. book. Uh, he has a book. And then he says this in 1979 already. I think 77, 79. That um, as much as we are Africans. We and, yes. Um, he says that we are Africans, but our Africanness does not have to be pre and fun big. Mm. And that we are a cosmopolitan African mm. in a changing and evolving mm. world. Okay, are you serious? Okay, yes. I need to get the book. And, and I've, I've, um, that's why um, I also believe, Guti, we are not, as much as we can retain and, and protect culture, mm. as much as we can protect, uh, you know, traditions mm. and all of that, mm. We, we are not just people of Ikona, Yalapa, mm. e mm. You know, we are people yes. that should be trodding mm. the world. And like, about our tambo, yes. like about, you know, people that have actually gone before us who have been across the, the ends of the world. And, and that's who we are. Our, our calling is that we actually also see, 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 see participate in those spaces. And 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 Bay to basically uh, have to, uh, actualize and pra practicalize that mm. uh, more than mm. uh, what we, we can mm. ever do. And you understand Doba why Sifikanjani Apo whereas mm. we have people we know people who have done this. Mm. I, I, do, I, I don't know, but yeah, 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 kauka api. I just, I don't know. But okay. Yeah, you know, by England, there's a little bit of a We are about to close, but I want her to sort of conclude by also telling us what, what should someone do or what should someone have to really sustain a long uh, life on radio, in media? Uh, what do you have? What are the basics? Um, in in the Zagayongoko, you have people who wanting to get into the space, like Bafunu Vuka, and be in the space. Mm. And and I'm not saying that <laughs> that cannot happen. Yes. 
but we are seconds. Mm. And and young people don't want to do that. And yes, no ma dim na experience yam na nabo. But people young people don't want to do that. Because like it's work. There are things that you need to do in order for ba ibe kandi is successful. And young people, above, I don't know, my don't know media, young people, we have, we have found one. We have found one. I have found one. I have found one. No, found one. Young people, found one. Yes. We have found one. In means, in do, or not, we use it, education. Mm. No kuba unoka na fan basi alale redu in siashek and ase TV na pina. Mm. There is so much to learn oza kala pa at the skin. E was kon is dong as was fundi swa oza zongeza when you come into the actual working world geng wogo. But kuya fundwa. And and we are kwazu me shu like umdo fun oi fundi leyo no no vugen nu aizolo, you mm. know. Um so please, we are found. You invest in yourself mm. and you invest in your craft. We are Kangela. What's happening in my industry? How can I contribute positively to it? How can I grow? How can I help grow it? How can I evolve and be better? Ibaluleki leke to to work on yourself like a better person. Ngola shobo we are quasi because you have all of this. So that umdo mameleyo can get something from listening to you. So please, we are fundo and through the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. Yes. Please. Yes. Heaven. Okay. Okay. My daughter gave me this heaven. And now I can see it's like it's the abundance of my heart. It's a thing, though. It's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. No, no, no. Again, do you speak any other languages? English, Kosa? Do you? No. No, I try. How to be hobo? No, no. Nothing. Can you any practice? Nothing. Um, I, I, I attempted to study French. I had a hard time, and. I registered my son for those lessons. I can actually imagine. <laughs> like I'm thinking, Guti, um, what I know about French. Bonjour. No, no oh. I think it's Lua de Vie. Oh, bonjour. Oh, yeah. Bonjour. So basic bonjour. bonjour yeah. yeah. But there's Lua de Vie, mm. Water of Life. Mm. <laughs> <Oui>. Okay. Wee, <laughs> wee, oui, oui, señorita. <laughs> Señora. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming. I truly appreciate it. Thank and you. honestly, um, um, it, you're really doing a great job. And we're happy to have, you know, that that platform held by somebody of your character and of your heart and we wish you all the best with everything let every good thing happen Yay! to you you Second know job. let you be blessed coming in Yay! and going out you let know it be let so. really really let it may so. the lord really shine his countenance over you, Thank you really uh, it's a big work that you are doing and may you really sustain it we've seen we've seen uh, what happens when we don't put properly prepared people on radio. Mm. We've seen mm. how the, the, the conversation mm. sort of degenerates mm. uh, in other stations. Mm. <laughs> you know, we've seen, um, and, 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 and that, that space must really be taken mm. uh, with the respect that mm. uh, we can see that is happening mm. um, with Umklobo mm. and and um, do you want to say anything? No, um, man, I wanted to say thank you for, for, for inviting me. Um, you one of uh, Abandu that I absolutely respect. I absolutely love your mind. I'm like, thank you. Oh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so, so Ndiabulela for for just you know this opportunity, mm. and I do see Obao and Zandonina, and I wish you all the very best. Like we are into. I want. Like funny about the money, even needs exactly so that you can be able to do so. On cases in the Ufuna Zenza, and I wish that for you. Uh, thank you for this beautiful platform. You are doing amazing. Na yon di teta ke into ba ikul. My cool, my guande, and what's even cool? I'm gonna give you a book. This is one of my books. Thank you. Leadership and insignia more enduring. 
Um, yeah, you'll read and enjoy it, and uh, you. hopefully you enjoy it. Because I open I, it with the... I'm always like, what are you reading? <laughs> you'll, <laughs> see, you'll, you'll see some of the... I, I, I basically remark here and there of some of the things that I like reading. Okay. But I think just at a glance, you'll see this is one of the most important um, accept for me currently, especially concerning uh, issues of leadership, but you'll have your own time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, so Masiyek, I don't want to, to, to get in trouble and, and make her to do work and, and not pay for her. But, wow. but that, that for me is, is, a, is a blessing from our archives, Zamaklosa, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in, uh, so it's actually, um, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had Oplek Mike, who's come to join us today. Thank you so much for uh, listening to us. And please subscribe. I now remember to say that. Subscribe and share this conversation. Yes, she's going to come back, but she's going to come back uh, probably uh, after a year or so, because I want her to do our voiceovers as well. <laughs> That's in the mind, so that we can pay her. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you to Ray, who's behind the scenes, who helped us, uh, Ray Finn, who helps us to actually sort of look a little bit good and sound uh, a little bit better. And uh, Candice, who's not here, but uh, she's also doing a great job for just to consult and give us, you know, good um, input on how we can best prepare this set and, and, and grow. There are other people, but we'll mention them at some other stage, like my wife, Unongululeko. Um, and, and, and my two daughters. I have two daughters now. You're on Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care. God bless.